let's see what palindromic numbers are. Before we look at palindromic numbers, let's first understand what does it mean by a palindrome. The words that I have shown here, dad, civic, malayalam, all these words are called as palindromes. Now, what is special about these words? What do you see here? If you take a close look, you can see that all these words are the same backward as forward. That means if you reverse the word dad or civic, you get the same word which is dad or civic. So, a palindromic number is a number that remains the same when its digits are reversed. Here are the examples. For example, 101, 7667 or 99999. All these are palindromic numbers. All these numbers are palindromes. You can reverse it and it is still the same number. How about 5? Is 5 a palindrome? Yes. All single digit numbers are palindromes because there is only one digit. It will be the same number when you reverse it. Now we are going to see some interesting thing about palindromes. Consider number 42. Now if you want to get a palindrome, what you can do is you flip the number. That means you get 24. So if you reverse 42, you get 24. Now add these two numbers. That means 42 plus 24 equals 66 and 66 is a palindrome. Let's take another example, 35. Now you reverse it, you flip it, so you get 53. Add these two numbers, that is add 35 and 53, and the sum is 88, which is a palindrome. If you have 67, what are you going to do? You will flip it, so you get 76. Now add these two numbers. The sum is 143, and it is not a palindrome. In that case, what you can do is you flip the sum. That means you reverse 143. So you will get 341. And now add these two numbers. That means add 143 and 341. So you get 484 and 484 is a palindrome. So this is something interesting. You take different numbers. And play around. This is something you can do to play around with numbers and have fun. If you start doing that and if you start looking for palindromes, you can sometimes find some very interesting patterns. I'm going to show you some. Now look at this. What I have here is that I have multiplied the numbers in the first column, the leftmost column, which is in blue and the numbers in the top row which is in green and I have written their products in this grid. For example, if you multiply 11 from the first column with 111 in the top row, you get 1221 or 1221 or if you multiply 111 from the first column with 111 in the top row, you get 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So this is how this grid is created. Now you can see that all the numbers that we are multiplying are all palindromes. And all the products that we get are all the palindromes as well. And you can see some very interesting beautiful patterns here. For example, if you look at the uh, column, the first column of product, you can see 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, and so on. If you look at the last column of products, you see how the products look. It looks like 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. It's very interesting. I'm going to show you one more pattern. Now look at this. Again, the numbers that we are going to multiply are all palindromes 11, 101, 1001, 10001 and the products are palindrome as well. Look at the product. If you multiply 11 by 101, you get 1111 
and if you multiply 101 by 1001 you get 101101 again you see some very interesting patterns so uh, what you can do is you try it out yourself and play around it's a lot of fun with numbers